Here is another brief video that will just go over what we learned in Microsoft Word one more time, especially since we were so rushed at the end. The basics that I showed you the other day were how to manipulate shapes. In the example that we used, we just did, you know, one of those letter cards like you had. So I'll just go through that again and show you how I did that a little bit more slowly so you can practice it on your own. The first thing that we need to do is find an image. Um, I just like to find my images from the internet. I think it's a little easier and you usually have better images. So I'm in Firefox right now and I'm just going to go to google.com and then I'm going to search for the word Apple just like we did the other day. And so now I'm going to select images and just to be on the safe side, I doubt anyone is ever going to come into your classroom and be the copyright police, but just to be on the safe side, I always like to make sure that I'm using images that are legally marked as being able to be used for whatever we want them to. So I always usually go to search tools, usage rights, and choose labeled for reuse. This just means that the people who created them said that people could use them for their projects. I believe this is the one we chose the other day, so I'll just choose this one again. So there's my apple, um, and then I'm just going to right click on it, or again on your laptop, it's the bunny ears, and say save image as, and then I'm going to save it to my desktop, and click save. Now that's all you need your internet for, so you can either exit out or minimize it. And now what we want to do is put the apple into our document. So what I'm going to do is slide the apple over. I'm just dragging it. And there it is on my sheet. The other way you can do this, I'm going to delete it really quickly so I can show you the other way, is by saying insert and then going to photo and then picture from file. I know you can't quite see it, but the thing I chose from the top says insert. So insert, photo, and then picture from file. And then I'm gonna choose my apple and click insert. So you can do it either way. And then if you want it to be smaller, you just have to put your little mouse on until the four arrow picture turns into a two arrow one and make it the size you want. So that looks good to me. But now we have another problem. If you try to move your, your apple, it's going to be stuck because of the way it's formatted. So we need to change that a little bit. You'll see here that my format picture menu is highlighted, which is what we want. If it's not, if you accidentally got off of it somehow by clicking off, all you have to do is double click on the picture and that will come back up. So now what we want to do so that we can move it is we want to choose from underneath this arrange menu, wrap text. You're going to click on that and then we're going to pick square. This way we can move the apple wherever we want to on the, on the piece of paper, which will make it easier to work with. Okay, so now we have our picture, but we want to put our square in there. So um, what you're going to want to do is go up here to the insert part and you're going to say I want to insert a shape and you can pick basic shapes or rectangles, either one, and I'm going to pick a rectangle. I'm just going to pick the square one for now and now I'm going to draw it in how I want it to look about the size. So now I have my square. But as you can see, it's not going to be very useful because you can't see through it. So what we need to do is we need to format the square and tell it's exactly how we want it to. So again, you can double click on the square and it will bring up the menu that you want. And this is the menu we want. So the first thing I want to do is change the fill. And you can do that here at this paint bucket. I'm going to click on the down and say I don't want any fill because I want it to be a clear box. So that's looking better, but I don't want this to be blue, I want this to be black. So now I'm going to pick this one right below fill, and this one is the line button. Click down and say I want this to be black. 
one of the other things I'd like is for it to be thicker so that I can cut it out more easily. So again, I can click on this, go down to weights, and then you can pick how thick you want your line to be. I think this one looks pretty good, so I'm going to choose this one. So now you have this nice thick black box around it. You can see that there's a drop shadow there. I think that that actually looks pretty nice, but if you want to change that, it's just under this effects button. Right now there's this glow underneath it. Um, if you want to, you can say no glow, and now it's just, you know, you can change it to a normal box. And again, you can always get back to that menu by double clicking on the box. So you can you can mess with this and just play with whether or not you want shadows or whether or want or whether or not you want it to look in certain ways. So now we have the box and we have the apple, but we actually need the A's in there. Um, you could just type A here where the cursor is, but that's going to be really hard to get it exactly where you want it to. So instead of doing that, I'm actually going to insert a text box because that gives us more control. And so that's at this home and then text box. And we can pick text box here and then you can draw it exactly where you want it to be. So I want it to be probably about right here. And now you can go ahead and type in like big A, little a if that's what you want. And I want it to be bigger, so I'm going to change the font size here to, I don't know, maybe 24. Oh, I want it a little bigger than that. Let's try 36. That looks okay to me. And then I want it to be in the center of the box, so I'm going to choose here under paragraph. This says center text, so I'm going to choose that. And you'll see I could either move it to the left, to the center, or to the right, so you can choose any of those. I'm going to choose centering. And then there you go. And if you don't quite like, I kind of think that should be moved down a little bit. So you can just click on it and move it where you want. And there you have your A as in Apple.